In this short video, we see how to use the lattice modifier to interactively modify a surface in a non-destructive way. The lattice modifier allows us to add a wrapper around a mesh with anchor points to deform the surface without altering the original mesh. This approach facilitates the creation of animations, enabling interactive modification of the surface to generate simple yet useful animations. The first thing to do is to add the object we want to deform. Then we insert the lattice and resize it to roughly match the dimensions of the object itself. Let's move on to the properties of the lattice object and increase the resolution to have more anchor points. At this point, we add the lattice modifier to the object to connect it. Select the object, go to the modifiers, choose Lattice in the Deform section, and select the newly added lattice. Now we can once again select the lattice and by entering Edit Mode, choose a vertex. By moving it, we cause deformation of the underlying mesh. Of course, the degree and detail of mesh deformation depend on the object's resolution. You can assess the detail by going into Edit Mode. If the number of faces is too low, it needs to be increased to achieve deformation with good resolution. In this specific case, there are many faces, so the deformation occurs smoothly. At this point, we need to add animation to the lattice. To do this, we need to insert some shape keys. Let's go to the Lattice Properties into the Shape Keys section, where we will add the basic shape key. There are two ways to create an animation based on shape keys. Relative, which involves modifications and animations relative to the base position, and Absolute. We will examine both. Let's start with the relative animation. As we have already seen, we add a base key and define the first key point of the initial animation. Entering Edit Mode, we select a vertex and move it along the Z-axis. Returning to Object Mode, the lattice goes back to its original position. By selecting Key 1 and adjusting its value, we can set the level of deformation in relation to the base position. The second way to animate shape keys is through interpolation. By adding desired subsequent positions to the lattice and using evaluation time as a timeline, we transition from one key to another. We define the initial position, and as we move along the evaluation time, we shift from the base position to the first deformation. Add a new key with the vertex moved downwards and then return to object mode. By adjusting the evaluation time, we move from the original position to key 1 and then to key 2. We can add and animate as many positions as we want to create the entire animation. For example, we create a new keyframe at frame 1 for the base position. Moving forward and increasing the evaluation time, we reach the position defined in key 1. Add a keyframe by hovering over the property and press the I key, then continue by increasing the evaluation time and adding a new keyframe. This way, we animate the lattice and the object associated with it, transitioning between the various positions defined in the shape keys. So, to create the final animation, we add a sphere and set two keyframes, the last one where we want it to impact the surface. Next, we select the lattice and, as done before, set the base keyframe. Then we add a new shape key and enter Edit Mode, to adjust the necessary vertices, in this case the central ones, moving them along the z-axis to deform the surface as desired. Returning to Object Mode and adjusting the evaluation time value, we create the animation. Lastly, we insert a keyframe at the point where the sphere impacts the surface. So, we move to the point where the impact begins, select the lattice, and add a keyframe for the evaluation time property at a previous position. Press the I key above the evaluation time to add a keyframe. Move a bit forward and create a new keyframe for the evaluation time at the point where the deformation should occur, adding a new keyframe. 
At this stage, the animation looks like this. Now, to refine the animation, let's adjust the keyframes and add new ones for the shape keys at necessary points. For example, if we need to deform the surface at a specific point, we go to the timeline at that point, add a new frame for the evaluation key. This allows us to modify the key position at that specific point. Next, we can enter the graph editor to adjust the animation curve, better defining the acceleration between the various keyframes. For instance, we can fine-tune the animation curve to achieve a result similar to this.